bell so you can be notified anytime there's an upfront coming from me it's business talk friday where we talk about our businesses my own brand of business is skincare but on business talk friday we talk about different types of businesses how we can improve our business basically our online marketing covering instagram whatsapp facebook telegram and so on so today i'll be sharing healthy tips with you tips that you can use on your whatsapp just to increase your sales tips that you can use on instagram and tips that you could use on facebook i'll be touching a little bit of facebook ads but that's not our major topic for today of course another finance talk we'll be dealing on facebook but for today let's just concentrate on these three apps instagram whatsapp and facebook starting with instagram as the first two to improve your business i think the basic thing is the, the, or rather, I would say the first thing you need to start with your Instagram page is your bio. Most people don't really explain what they do on their Instagram bio, like telling them if you're, if you're a tutor, for example, you're going to explain on your bio that, okay, I teach this, I teach that. Some people on their bio, you're not going to get so much information. The first thing you want to do on Instagram, if you don't work on your bio, people might not really know what you're doing. Like for my bio, I wrote skincare therapist in Kaduna. I'm sure I'm going to display my bio on the screen so you get to see it. As at the time I was making this video, I had 2,000 plus followers. When I mean 2,000 plus followers, I mean genuine 2,000 followers. No buying of followers. All these followers are out of hard work. Arrange your bio. Introduce yourself. I am Muriel, a skincare therapist based in Kaduna. If you're into rebranding, say I do rebranding. Let's make example of Titi Lope. Titi Lope is a printer, and she does she rebrands shirts she brands shoes she she do she does um business branding and all of those things if you're a printer if you're a printer and you cover all those things make it listed in your bio let them know what you do if you know you're a printer not all printer teach other people how to become printers so if you're a printer and you know you give out lectures too state it in your bio that yes i give out lectures too. this is what we need to get right in 2022 so that our business can come on track actually the difference between the people doing a random business and you doing that same business but running it both offline and online is the progress you make once you are an online marketer or once your business is online you tend to get audience from different locations and places of course, referral is something like somebody can patronize you and they like what you do and they refer you to somebody else. That is referral, person to person referral. But once you're online and people see the good works you do, they see the list of things you do, on their own they can come. Once your page looks genuine. If your page looks genuine, here you go. You get customers. And don't forget, people get a whole lot of customers on Instagram. Forget all those scam accounts. Forget all those people that do audio presentation on Instagram. Forget all those people that do audio marketing. People are cashing out from Instagram on a daily. People are making it on Instagram. In fact, people got big on Instagram that they had to quit Facebook and they don't really care so much about WhatsApp. Yes. And one thing I want you to know is that on your bio on Instagram, do not put no WhatsApp. Strictly Instagram, serious buyer only. Why are you scaring us? We are your customers. You're supposed to be nice to your customers. So please make sure you work on your bio and don't scare people away. These people are people that don't know you. They just want to patronize you. They want to support the entrepreneurship industry. So why will you scare them with all of those things? I know what's up. I won't really talk so much on, or let me stop here on Instagram. Next thing we want to move on is Facebook. Wow. Facebook is the largest assessing app if you ask me like you see every kind of person on facebook you see your average people on facebook we on facebook the youths the old you see so many people on facebook that's why facebook ads year to year it has been helping entrepreneurs to bring their business to public to bring their business to more people you can't be running a business without knowing anything about facebook ads no you have to know about facebook ads you have to know how to use your ads manager even if you are not so good on instagram for like as a basic business starter you might not be so good to run ads on instagram or it might not be hitting your audience 
you know but facebook is very easy to manipulate facebook is very very easy to manipulate and apart from maybe facebook ads there are other tools you could use to sell on facebook we have the facebook marketplace it's on your facebook app where you can upload um things on like you can upload things online maybe for people that are close to you or nearby listing and so on and so forth so you can post on the marketplace and then sell to people i'll say a little about facebook ads facebook ads has been so simplified that you could post videos you can make people click and go to maybe a landing page before they take them down to your dm you can make posts that once they click they come into your dm directly to whatsapp you can make posts that when they click they go into your messenger you can make different types of posts their conversion posts. they are posts that will take them to your website if you want them to go to your website Facebook is broad. So when you're a marketer, when you're a business owner and you don't have a page for your business, it means you're not serious. It means you're not ready to take your business to the next level. It means you're not ready to take your business abroad. Let me put it that way. Not like abroad, abroad, but like abroad. So if you're a business owner, if you're an online business owner, you necessarily don't need to have a store before you can do your Facebook marketing. Bring your business online. Sometimes, as long as our business is, we really don't know when opportunities will come. So not putting your business online is... When I mean put your business online, I don't... Okay, anyways, I'm going to go to WhatsApp, but when people... When you tell people put your business online, the first thing they think about is WhatsApp. No! I think Facebook is the biggest platform for you to come out and express yourself. So if you don't have a Facebook page for your business, you don't post things on Facebook, you've not done a Facebook ads before, you are not ready for money. I'm not sure you're ready to even make money. Why won't you... Why have you never done a Facebook ads? Like a correct Facebook ads before? And you call yourself a businesswoman. It means you are ready to stay where you are. You are not ready to go international. You are not ready for the, you know, becoming a big mama doing the same thing you're doing. With the same thing you're doing, people are building houses. With the same thing you're doing, people are buying cars. So on WhatsApp, sometimes people get ashamed on WhatsApp to display what they do. You don't You don't want to feel bad. You don't want people to think, I just want to put business, business for head. You don't want people to look at you as if you are too serious with life now think of it what if your daily meal comes from the business you do like what if, if i don't sell today i don't eat today i think that will put more seriousness in your head so using these three apps are actually very important i will not talk so much on whatsapp because posting on your status daily is a basic thing that almost everybody does and i want to advise most times when people get bored or the reason why people get bored of your status is because all the time you post business, 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 there's no meme. Is it meme they call it on minds? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you need to post attractive things on your status. It's not all the time you post your business, business. Sometimes you need to teach people what to do. Okay, for example, I sell a body scrub and I'm here to teach you how to use your body scrub that will make it work effectively for you. If I sell eyeliner, I come and make, sometimes I make tutorial videos on how to use eyeliner in the right way or how to use eyeliner when you're going for dinner or how to use eyeliner when you're wearing a simple outfit those are simple and basic things you can teach people and grow using these three apps firstly on instagram when you open an instagram account having your business name don't be afraid because maybe for the first two weeks you might follow people and they might not follow you back so many people might follow you back and later on follow you it's fine for you to be able to get audience you need to take it one step at a time one second thing that I noticed is that if your sentence is quite correct, once you follow people, they show at you show at their suggested people. It means, for example, I follow um, Nancy Isime on Instagram. The moment I follow her, my name shows among the suggested people below her. It means when someone else comes to follow her, my name will be listed among the suggested people. So don't feel too bad when you follow people and they don't follow you back. It's normal time to time when you follow people stay on instagram make posts reply to people's posts make comments under other people's posts with time you grow on instagram and don't look down on the number of followers you have it's not about the number of followers are you really making sales on instagram are you really making sales on instagram the basic thing that happens on instagram most people do audio 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 on instagram we all know about the audio one so don't be among the set of people that do the, the one you're fighting is against yourself, not against anybody. There's no comparison anywhere. So if somebody has 18k followers, doesn't mean the person is selling better than you. So don't get involved. Don't be pressurized. Don't be oppressed. Take it one step at a time. You might have 1,000 followers and you are far doing well. You are selling better with your genuine 1,000 followers than somebody that has um, 18k followers that are not genuine. People buy followers. So 
just stick to whatever it is you're doing and put more energy on the whatsapp app i think there's a very simple way of building your contact base don't be don't be shy to tell people about what you do tell people about what you do make contacts make friends you're making friends because of the business because you want the business to grow what is doing collecting somebody's number be like hey how are you doing good afternoon my name is Uriel. I sell hair wow your hair is so fine i would like to have your contact maybe i could add you up on whatsapp and then if you're very nice the person will give you his or her contact and then you add up gradually gradually when you go out you meet people you make contact you make friends before you know you're building your contact base on whatsapp which is quite important so when you upload at least a whole lot of people could get to see it. Second idea on using your WhatsApp. Okay, let's assume you are a baker. You make cake. When you bake cake, looking so beautiful, carrying your logo, maybe, or your watermark, and then you upload it, of course you have friends. You could request the repost for you, and maybe make sure that when you're putting your watermark there, you're also putting your contact. So once they are reposting for you, your contact is there, and people maybe probably on their contact list could contact you. That is the basic benefits of whatsapp make contacts guests to people make friends bring your business to the table don't always upload on your status business 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 i mean if you're uploading on your status every day about business make sure you put something enticing at the middle because people will want to click on your status because it's just the random pictures you see every day of her cakes that's if you're a cake seller of her noodles if you're a noodle seller so make sure you put maybe short clips like funny videos or maybe tutorials or you know you have to mix things up you have to make it spicy so that people will be excited to go to your status so i think whatsapp is the only app for now that i know that doesn't accept that that's it means i can't post on my whatsapp status and then tag somebody else no but facebook and instagram accepts tags so when you want to post on your instagram you can tag one or two people that knows you or probably maybe one or two people that are using your products once they give access to that tag their own friends can get to see it facebook too the same when you're posting you tag your friends or your loved ones on facebook if they accept your tags that's for those who have settings on their facebook accounts for those that don't have settings on their facebook accounts it's an automatic process once you tag them their friends can be able to see it but for those that have settings once they approve your tag their friends will be able to see it. so this will help you grow they feel this person you've tagged is genuine okay i will want to buy from this person because this person tagged this person so that is how you make a strong what i call it fan base or that is how you make people believe your online business if people react to your video or they react to your pictures or what appreciates them they make comments reply they ask questions reply to them it is quite important it is very very essential so these three apps can make you grow so apart from the app let's talk about how you could be dedicated to this app sometimes even me as a person i want to be dedicated to i want to be dedicated to the three apps at a time but it's so hard for me so most times when i make a video for example maybe i make a youtube video or maybe it's not really a youtube video maybe i'm a bit bored and i wanted to light up and i make a video I have connected most of my apps together, like connecting WhatsApp with Instagram, connecting it with TikTok and all of those. So once I'm uploading, uh, once I make a TikTok video and I'm uploading it on TikTok, it is connected to my Instagram account. From there, I send it down to my Instagram account. Once it's uploaded on my Instagram account story, I can send it to Facebook from there. Once it's uploaded, or, or rather, once you upload a video on WhatsApp, so you can send it to Facebook. Now, dedicated to these three apps. You can tell yourself every evening, I am going to check on my Instagram page, I'm going to check on my Facebook page, I'm going to check on my WhatsApp page, maybe before I turn up my data to sleep. It's a good idea to check up on these three apps because you really don't know where your customers will come from this time around. Anybody can come from anywhere on Instagram, on Facebook, WhatsApp, maybe they might get your contact from somewhere or however. Please bring your business online. Please be involved in marketing. Most people that are even doing affiliate marketing these days are making a whole lot of money. So bring your business online. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please I'll advise you to click on that subscribe button below and please like and share my video so that other people can get to see the video.